G'day, today I'd like to do a quick tutorial about using the animation presets and animating text. Now, if you're like me and you've used uh, different programs before and in drag and drop, you should go, well, this is fairly straightforward. Why would I need even a tutorial on this? Well, with these text effects, they've all been created in composition sizes that are smaller than probably the composition size that you're, you're probably planning to use. So you need to make some adjustments to get them to work perfectly for you. So what we're going to do is create a new composition so I can give you an example of this. I'll just call it um, straight in by word. That's the name of the effect we're going to use. Now I'm using HD uh, width and height 1920 by 1080. And all these presets, and I don't know, I haven't test tested all of them, but all these presets are really designed for uh, smaller composition sizes than this and so they won't work perfectly well by default. So I'll just hit OK on that and I'll show you how to access some hidden properties so you can get them to work. So what I'll do is I'll create a new layer. Let's create, let's create a solid as a background. And I'll create some text. Okay, so I'll move it to where I want it to finally appear. Now that's you know roughly the, the 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 size of the text that I want. That's where I want it to finally appear. If I go down to the time indicator, I can see I'm at zero, and if I move across, nothing happens yet because I have yet to apply the effect. So if I go up to animation presets, twirl down text, and twirl down the animate in um, folder, what I'm looking for is the straight on by word. If I click and hold and drag that onto the uh, text layer, um, some things already automatically happen. So if I hit um, the text layer over here on the timeline and hit U once, you can see that it's applied a range selector, an animator, to this text. And if I, I can see this, I can see a starting keyframe and a finishing keyframe or an ending keyframe. If I scroll through that over the 40 seconds, you can see that it comes in. But the problem is, it, it uh, finishes where I want it to finish, but it doesn't start where I want it to start. Now, the, probably the, the first thing you will probably try to do is click and drag this text and move it off the side here, and we'll give that a go and see that ah, that doesn't work. Now, the reason that doesn't work is because you're moving everything, you're moving all the animation with it. What you need to do is actually go into the, um, the properties of the animator and animate, uh, animate from there. So if you're not used to this, if first time using an animator, you'll find the options for this under the text, um, in the, inside the text um, layer itself. So if you um, twirl this up, twirl this down, you've got text. If you twirl down text, you get more options and there's lots of options that we can have a look at. The main one we want to do to fix this up is right here, it's the position. Uh, that's underneath the animator, underneath the range selector, and it's just the position, the starting position. We don't need to click on the stopwatch to animate it. We just need to simply move the position off the screen. We'll just click and drag that off there. And that will fix the problem that we have for this particular animator. So if we drag through the timeline, it, that arrives exactly where we want it to arrive. And um, that's really it.